Hello! In today's tutorial video, we will be going over how to set up the necessary directory structure, as well as setting the necessary environment variables that will set you up for success for running through this tutorial in an end-to-end -end fashion. In addition, I will also provide the instructions for how to download the necessary code from our GitHub project repository, and this code contains the necessary scripts, nameless configuration files, and other important files that are used to run through this tutorial. So before we get started, I do want to point out that we have different instructions depending on the shell you're using. So we have the TCSH instructions here in the left column, and then the bash or KSH instructions in the right column. I should also note that the directory that we choose to run these tutorial cases in must have at least 25 gigabytes of storage space in order for this tutorial to work for all three cases. We will be showing instructions for running on AWS, which has a bash shell, so we'll be focusing on using the commands that are here in this rightmost column. So first, we will set our top-level experiment directory, and so we'll be doing this by using the make dir command. So we'll make our EC2 user directory under the home directory, and then we will cd or change directory into our top level experiment directory. And then some commands that we'll follow in the tutorial do use what's called the proj dir. And so we are setting it or printing our working directory pwd to this home EC2 user directory. And then we will also set what's called a proj version. This is the version of the tutorial that we'll be running. And again, we'll make executing commands easier and more straightforward in the next steps. And so we'll be setting the proj version, in this case, to 4.1.0. So now we've set up the necessary environment variables. And next, we can move forward with obtaining the end-to-end -end container project code from GitHub. And so we can do this by copy and pasting this entire command. And here you can see it accesses the proj version environment variable that we just set. And so it will be grabbing version 4.1.0 of the code. And it does this in a relatively quick fashion. And if we do an LS, we can then see the container DTC NWP code, which contains all the necessary components that are used to run through this tutorial. And so that wraps up our discussion about setting the necessary directories environment variables, and obtaining the code that are needed to run through this tutorial.